Hey there, welcome. My name is Elizabeth and I am a lifelong maker and I'm the designer and teacher at EBITDA Studio. So this is just an update of some of the things that I've been working on and some of the things that I'm that are coming up that I'm really excited about. And so I do have one finish and this little guy, this was a kit that I bought when I went to a quilt festival in Korea. So it's a little hand sewing and it's just a cute little um, ornament. And I was originally thinking about maybe using it as a scissor fob or something, but I think it's a little bit too big for that. So I'm not sure I might use it as a keychain, um, but it's really cute. I just haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with that yet. And something else I've been working on is this scarf is something I've been working on for a long, long time and I work on it and then put it aside for a while. And this is a reversible patchwork scarf and it's hand stitched. All the seams are hand stitched. And so it is all together finally, it's pretty long and I'm just finishing the hem. So you can see that I've um, basted the hem here because it's so long, that just makes it easier if I baste it. And then um, after I'm done the stitching, I'll take the basting stitches out. But this is now finally, the end is in sight. And so um, I'm looking forward to finishing this. And in June, I'm gonna be going to Quilt Canada, which is in Edmonton. And I'm actually gonna be teaching there, so you'll be watching for more information about that. But this is one of the techniques that I'm gonna be teaching. And so I wanna have this finished to be able to take it there. So that is my goal. I'll have this finished by June. Um, so keep your eyes out for that. But I really like how it has turned out. Um, something else, if you've been following for a while, you've probably seen that I've been participating in Quilt Block Mania. And so this is every month designers that are involved will give you a free block pattern for that month. Um, and so I started this partway through 2023. I had nine blocks and all the blocks that I used were traditional blocks, but they had em hand embroidery embellishments on it. And so those blocks were available free in 2023. They're now for sale in my shop, but I'm putting together a bundle that has all the blocks and it has a finishing instructions. And I've just finished the top to put all these blocks together into a quilt top. Um, and so now I have this flimsy that has to be quilted. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna quilt this because I don't wanna distract from all the hand embroidery. So the top is done, so be watching for the quilting on that. And another top that I've completed is this top. I can't show the whole thing because it's pretty big. Um, but this is from a fabric collection from Sherry by Powered by Fabric. And this is a new fabric collection that's going to be coming out. And I was lucky enough to get a sample ahead of time. So this quilt, um, along with all information about the new fabric collection, is going to be um, shown in March. So this is just a sneak peek, but you'll be able to see the whole thing beginning of March. Um, I love the fabric and I really like how it's turned out. I just need to get a move on quilting this so that I can um, share pictures of that in March. And I've realized as I've gone through um, some of the things, done some cleanup, I have a bunch of quilt tops that are ready to be quilted. So it's time for me to just spend some time doing that. Um, I've gone back to my um, ebook that I have called Simple Quilting, and it has 10 easy to quilt designs that you can do on your home sewing machine. And I tend to go back to those same 10 designs over and over. Um, I personally can't afford to pay someone to long arm them. And um, I do some free motion quilting, but it is really time consuming. And my skill level, I would say is medium. I'm not an expert at free motion quilting. And so walking foot quilting, is an easy way to finish my quilt tops. So I'm going back to what the quilt tops that I have and making a plan so that I can 
get these finished so they're not hanging around anymore. And then the only last thing I have to share today is this is a kit that I just got in the mail and it's for a workshop that I'm really excited about, but I'm not teaching it. I'm going to be taking this workshop. And so this is a workshop on Sexil Newbie, um, which is a type of traditional Korean quilting. I've seen this many times, but I've never done it. I don't know how to do it. And this is a workshop with Young Min Lee, who you've heard me talk about her before. She's a Pajagi artist, and she runs a Korean textile tour that I went on in the fall. Um, so I'm very excited to be able to take this workshop with her on Zoom. And so I got the kit, which has everything I need, the fabric and thread and some other things. So um, I will be sharing an update after I do this workshop to say um, what I liked about it, how I learned. Um, if you're interested um, in the workshop, you can check uh, youngminlee.com to find out information. I don't know if there's room for this workshop. It's in early February, but I'm sure she'll be teaching it again. So that's really all the updates that I have right now. I've been busy working and getting these quilt tops done, and now I just have to get them finished. I do have plans for some hand embroidery and other stitching projects, so you'll be able to get updates for those coming up soon. So until next time, all the best and happy sewing. Bye.